Welcome to Informatica support videos. My name is Vivek Sahu and today we will be discussing about installing Power Exchange on MBS. Agenda for the video Overview of Power Exchange and the installation process. Informatica Power Exchange is a data access product that enables an IT organization to access all sources of enterprise data without having to develop custom data access programs. In other terms, Power Exchange helps you access, load, and deliver data as part of the ETL process. To simplify the development and deployment of smaller departmental data mats and data warehouses as an incremental approach toward enterprise data warehousing. The ETL process can be problematical with the data often being read and written several times during the process. Power Exchange eliminates all these steps and complete process is being done in a single step. Power Exchange not only extracts data, it provides an integrated communication layer that can move the data and load it at a high speed. Now coming to the installation process. Before installing Power Exchange, we need to create two datasets in mainframe, that is Runlib and Binlib. To create those datasets, the specifications are for the screen. Now coming to the installation, we have to get the installer and we have to copy the installer and unzip in our local folder. Then we have to double click on the installer and this page will come. Which says it's a full install, it's an upgrade to new release or a hotfix install. The first time we are doing the full install, you have to click on the full install and next. The next page it will ask an error like an ex existing installation parameter file that is called instapump was not detected. That means we are doing a new installation so that the instapump parameter file will be created. So click OK to proceed. Then full installation page comes where we have to full install the PowerExtend software. Just press next and here we have to provide the login ID of our mainframe. Power Exchange agent logger prefix is user defined. Generally, we will give the first three characters of our user ID. Then HLQ high level qualifier you have to provide your user ID dot some qualifier name. This qualifier will be used to create the data sets in your mainframe. And the license key you need to get the license key and then provide the license key and then press next. Other things can be remain blank. Then it is saying select dataset group details. In this screen, you don't have to change anything. That HLQ whatever we have provided in the last screen, it has came here. So no need to change anything. Just press next. Here LE runtime library. This screen CEE screen run is the runtime library I have provided here. And the ports, listener port, net port and CDC net port. These are some but default port numbers will be there. If you want, you can change the port numbers as for your configuration and then press next. Here, what all data sources you need to install on your machine. As of now, I have selected DB2 and DB2 CDC because I want to install only DB2 and DB2 CDC part and then press next. Here, all those details will be auto generated. Logger ID, logger task ID, agent name, agent task ID, everything will be auto generated. No need to change anything, press next. Here it is showing DB2 in which subsystem you are installing the software. I am installing on DSN B subsystem. So the load library DB2 exit and DB2 run live. These things you have to provide as for your mainframe configuration and as for your subsystem. Then press next. Here you need to select DB2 change data capture and DB2 V11 plus. That means DB2 version 11 will support this installation and other things are auto generated. Press next. Then the run live and bin live whatever we have created before installation I came here. Then press next. Here we have to give the IP address that is your IP address of your mainframe then login ID and password of your mainframe. You have to click on the mixed case password and other things are auto generated and press next. This will transfer the files present on your power access installer to mainframe. And this FTP process will take some time that is all the installation files, all the programs, load modules, everything will be copied to mainframe. 
After the FTP process completes, you'll get a message like this: FTP process has completed successfully. You just press Need to OK. Then the FTP process completes, and this is the full installation process. Whatever we have done in mainframe. The next step will be we have to start the listener, agent, ECCR, and logger. That we will discuss on the next videos. Regarding this videos, if you have any feedback, we'd love to hear from you. You can mail us at supportvideos at informatica dot com, or you can tweet us at twitter dot com infasupport. Thank you.